We're like powerful, strong, dynamic. Like we're just the full package. <laughs> At this training center, it's one thing to defy gravity. It's another to defy tradition. I feel like we have something to prove. Like we have like, you know, everyone watching us. Nice. Everyone watching something special take flight. Growing up, I was mostly one of the only African-American gymnasts on my team. So to be able to train every day, live with people who look like me, it's just so amazing. With each leap and every flip, Ready. they're making history. Love your flight. And I was like, I actually don't really want to go to college if it's not an HBCU, but I still want to do gymnastics. And so literally two months later, my friend texted me like Fisk, like the, um, that they were having a gymnastics team. And I was like, oh my gosh. So Among all historically black colleges and universities, <laughs> this women's gymnastics team is a first. And turn, there we go. And turn it, turn it, bam, there we go. At the helm feel it? is Coach Kareem Tarver. You failed that time? I was the first black gymnast to ever go to Georgia, and then I was also the first black gymnast to ever win the NCAA all-around title. The team of 16 girls come from across the country. A lot of them are what I would call diamond in the roughs. Meaning many have never experienced this kind of a spotlight. I am definitely throwing them in the deep end. Nice, Naima! We have some big time teams that we are going up against this year. As training begins, there's no mistaking the support these girls have for each other. Support that extends across the country. We've gotten a lot of love throughout the gymnastics community. Um, a lot of people are excited to see what this team will look like when we get out on the floor. And there's a lot of support for us to be successful. With all eyes on them, these diamonds in the rough. Come on, you got it, you got it! Are ready to shine. Yes! Olivia Michael, News Channel 5.